Hey guys, I just thought I'd show you the modifications I made to the J-Power 50mm EDF Hawk. Not that many, but just enough to suit me fine. Okay, firstly, I had a jittery servo. So I went to pull that out. And once I pulled it out, I thought, you know what? I think I'll pull both of them out and use one servo mounted in the center of the wing and get rid of these two control horns because the way they were sticking up I thought the angle this is on the first bit of grass I hook is just going to tear them break them do something to them so I thought all right you know what let's cut them off and uh, put everything internal so what I've done is I've put some uh, Aon control rods shoved them in just by pushing it through the foam until it showed up in this curved pan here um, on the inside. Once it was in, I then bent the right angle here to be able to, once again, push the arrow on. And then I just sticky taped them on with the clear tape, top and bottom. And fold it all the way up, put the tape on, fold it all the way down, put the tape on the top. And the way I've got this rigged up is a couple of GWS wing mounting brackets here and another piece of GWS plastic and I don't know what it did but I got it in the, um, the bag of goodies you always seem to get when you buy a GWS model so I've got a two and a half mil screw here a bolt call it what you like a little lock washer that mounts to the rear and the front slips out those two locators you may recognize that now um, I had to gouge out some of that with uh, a soldering iron because when I hook it in I've got to go down get it into the holes and then come flat so that was necessary on the back you see the uh, bolt and that little piece of plastic that was in the GWS kit that gives me the strength I need and spreads the support across a wider area and uh, stops me from crushing the foam if I screw that down too tight in the back it's got a just a piece of plywood, as you see, not even centered. Uh, epoxy the little bolt on the back there. Uh, from here to there, still around this area, on the inside, around there, I put about six ounce cloth, just a, a fine strip, and just epoxy that on, so that that a becomes really tough, as you can see, and also it shares the load all over this area instead of just this tiny bit here. I was pretty sure it would just snap off if um, the yeah. wing caught for free. The Aurons are set up on this survey, just one single HXT900. Uh, it's a bit Frankenstein, you know, granted, but it works really well. I would really like a low profile servo on there, or next time to have two uh, 5 gram servos and line down sideways and just bury them right down here, nice and low, it could even be up here, you know, where it's a more flat area um, and not be such an obtrusive uh, structure like it is there um, but the usual setup, doinky, onto your control horns, your rods, onto your servo horn um, a little V there to adjust it, get it nice and neutral that's all good. So I'll just screw this back down so it doesn't flop around. And I'll show you the, the fan setup I did. Now, kudos to J Power for this one. Um, so I have a fan access hatch. Nice work. Because when I usually make my models, what do I do? I just glue the motor in and shut it all up and if something goes wrong I'm in trouble. This fan came from Hobby King. It's a 50mm job that they have with a six blade fan unit. Um, it had a, a ridge on the back there. Fairly sure of it because I can see all my sand marks there. It's been a while since I uh, modded this. So I sanded all that off so it's just got a nice smooth outer shroud. Uh, I created a tar pipe for it with a 85 percent FSA uh, based on the calculations of my motor and fan that goes down to the rear 
comes out at 37 mil, which is just a bit bigger than this. This was about 42 point something. So I've got a six mil diameter uh, reduction here. Um, I've left it clear off the rear of the jet so that it has a clean exit. It's not all getting washed up against the, the, the back there. A uh, bit of foam there to hold it uh, central. That's basically all I did. Just jammed it in there. It's not even holding still actually. I think I just put it in. Um, make sure these things are tight. Definitely, even a spot of glue wouldn't hurt that. And that's that's all I did. Um, I ran it on 3S for the Maiden. Went great. I would not even think that I'd need 4S except to go ridiculously fast, like Aussie Super Cubs Mick did. That was just a that was just on, on rails. It was a rocket. It was crazy fast. Um, so I have ordered a couple of Nanotech uh, Turnergy 4S's and a few 3S's to run this sucker um, because it flew fantastic on 3S and with the stock lifer they gave me I stuck it in this hole here which it seemed to fit perfectly I'm guessing that's what it was made for balanced it out at 50mm from the front of the wing which um, well, low and hold seem to be the balance point for the Sapex too, which puts you just behind the two um, air intakes here. Right across here. So that worked well. Where's me pilots? What's going on? Got no pilots. Very disappointing. Let's just see if I can score some of them. Alright, that's me mods. I uh, hope it helps you guys out there.